Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about Libertine Fragrances. It's a indie perfume house based out of Canada. Joshua is the perfumer and he has some pretty fantastic perfumes that I wanna share with you guys. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Maite, I review fragrances and products. I love all things that smell good. Please, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. It really helps my channel grow. Give this video a thumbs up and click the little notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. When you click the notification bell, also turn on all the notifications so you can be notified anytime I do anything. So I'm gonna go from my least favorite to my most favorite. Um, these perfumes are pretty complex. I wouldn't say they're too challenging. I think they're pretty easy on the nose, but they are complex in terms of kind of the way the notes harmonize, they do evolve on the skin, which I love, they're not linear. First up, Eros Fig. Now Eros Fig, I think is like a green fig perfume, so it's not too fruity, it's more on the green side. It starts off kind of minty, and then the dry down, I get more of the sandalwood and the honey. The notes are citrus, warm spices, black currant, green fig leaf, dried figs, coconut, sandalwood, honey, and ambrette seed. Um, very benign scent, it's not offensive, it's easy to wear. Um, it wasn't that interesting to me, um, but if you love fig fragrances, then I would definitely check out Eros Fig. Next up, Fin de Cicle. Now, Fin de Cicle is a um, floral shebra. It um, is very rose heavy and it's a little dirty. It's a dirty rose. If you like something like um, Portrait of a Lady from Frederick Mall, then you may really enjoy um, Fin de Cicle or Fin de Cicle. Fin de Cicle. Oh, I'm terrible at pronouncing stuff. I'm sorry. Um, it's not as like sour as Portrait of a Lady, which I enjoy. It's just a little too floral heavy for me. But if you love floral and you love um, rose, then I would definitely check this one out. The notes are black currant bud, citrus, Egyptian rose, oak moss, patchouli, labdanum, and civet. Yeah, more on the feminine side to me, um, but very, very nice composition. The way the notes harmonize, it's just for my taste, it was a little too floral heavy, but I, I think I would really love this like on my mom or something like that, I'd probably give this one to her and she would love it. Yeah, there is a, like an older kind of sexy vibe to it. So that is fin de cicle. Next up, Sex and Jasmine. Beautiful, I love the name. Um, my only thing with Sex and Jasmine is I already have something that smells similar to it, which is Bruno um, Fazalari's Udella Narcissus. And it has a similar, like that sexy Jasmine, but it's absolutely fantastic. I would highly recommend Sex and Jasmine if you're looking for like a sexy fragrance. The notes are night blooming jasmine, sandalwood, aged patchouli, ambergris, and vanilla. Simple but sexy and kind of soft but still alluring, very alluring fragrance. The jasmine is dark and the sandalwood is smooth and it's 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 really nice. If I didn't already have something similar, I would definitely want Sex and Jasmine. Next up, Gilded. Gilded is a beautiful, spiced, soft, sweet fragrance. If you like more exotic fragrances, then um, Gilded is one to check out. This scent does linger. All of these linger for quite some time, even though they're more like delicate and soft, except for the um, Fin de Cicle, that one's pretty in your face. Um, a lot of these are more soft and uh, subdued, and but they linger, they linger. So they're not gonna project like crazy, but they sit kind of close and more personal. The notes are green cardamom, cinnamon bark, orange blossom, olabinum, immortel, brown sugar, opopanox, and pale wood accord. It is not overly sweet, even though it has a brown sugar note. It's, it's more, I think, about the spices and the very soft kind of earthy feel, um, really nice. Uh, not interesting enough for me to have a full bottle, but if you love spiced, kind of soft, sweet fragrances, then Gilded. Next up, Trouble Spirits. Now, I was actually surprised how much I liked it when I actually wore it, because when I sprayed it on my hand, I didn't like it. It was a little bit 
too musky um it smelled a little bit like bo for some reason on my hand but when i wore it it just evolved so nicely it's like a kind of charred wood with spices and then the whiskey is not uh too prominent it's just there sitting in the background kind of like a like like you're a little buzzed there's a softness but it's still there like throughout the day i kept getting wafts of it so it never left me it lingered it stuck around and it was just really nice to wear and i actually this one uh definitely one of my favorites from libertine troubled spirits sweet grass is next Sweetgrass is amazing. Oh my gosh, I love this one so much. I'm gonna spray a little bit more here. Oh yes, yes, so nice. The hay and the tobacco and the sweetness. The notes are boletus, I don't know what that is, mimosa flower, fresh hay, tonka bean, pipe tobacco, and golden sunshine. And it is like a bright tobacco. I love the One of my favorite tobaccos for sure. Um, great i think for the summertime um even in the hot weather i think this would do very nicely another one that lingered forever it stayed with me all day long and i i love this one sweet grass next up softwoods now i think this is one of the more interesting fragrances in this collection it's very complex i got before i looked at the notes sandalwood and like a dirty musk i thought maybe there was like civet in here or something but it actually um has no sandalwood and no musk uh the notes are black pepper juniper berry balsam fir woody notes rose de may frankincense and bourbon vanilla i think maybe what i'm smelling is the uh, balsam fir and the frankincense um and again just very interesting scent i think uh it'll kind of captivate somebody and have them like asking like what is that what are you wearing um i just kept going back to it and i have it here and i'm still going back to it it's not too spice like the black pepper is not like spicy spicy um it more smells like the spices from like a chai tea or something like that you know more of a like a smooth spice so really love softwoods would definitely want to add it to my collection last and my favorite smoked bloom oh bergamot vetiver sandalwood it's smoked it's earthy it's bright it's fresh but everything that i love and i just dropped a little card um the notes are bergamot bay leaf osmanthus vetiver sandalwood and white musk beautiful absolutely gorgeous lasts all day definitely going to get a bottle of this i don't have anything like it in my collection i love that it has vetiver um i'm really drawn to anything vetiver so this is a winner this is my favorite i thought my favorite was going to be gilded from when i read the notes almost to the point where i almost blind bought it thank goodness i didn't and i got the discovery set instead because um smoke bloom yeah this is uh this is definitely amazing so Liberty Fragrances also has all these um, perfumes in an oil version, which I think is fantastic. If you like to layer your fragrances, maybe to make them last longer or to enhance them, they also have the same perfumes in perfume oil form. So, um, which I would put on the oil and then spray the fragrance and that'll just make everything so much better. Um, he also has uh incense cones which he sent me a sample of these are the hinoki and moss he also has the guaiac wood and bergamot and saffron and oud so if you love incense i would definitely check these out these are amazing um they're not they don't last long but incense if you know they they're not meant to burn forever you get maybe like 20 minutes or so 15 20 minutes um out of one cone but it does smell up like my whole living room when i burn one so i really really love this if i could have it like just burning all day long i would if this came in like a gigantic cone definitely would uh order it this smells fantastic but i love incense so if you love that smoked kind of incense um kind of feel right to your home like if you want your home to smell like incense check out the incense cones that's it thank you guys for watching i hope um that i brought you another you know indie perfume house that you haven't heard of that you can check out there is the discovery set so i would always highly encourage you to start off there versus blind buying if you are looking to explore an indie house see if they have discovery sets thank you guys again 
Please stay tuned for my next indie house review. I will be reviewing One Way Bridge Perfumery. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and click the little notification bell, which is down here, <laughs> to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Have a great one, you guys. Mwah. Very, very rainy and humid. Hmm.